Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan in-depth video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the blue stone and which unit would probably most benefit you. Now, uh, I'm basing this off of both opinion and both off of fact. So we're going to go over all the facts. You could actually make your own decision, obviously, uh, by the end of the video of which one you think should be chosen. Um, I was actually going to put this up on Sunday for you guys. I ended up recording the video, but I chose the wrong browser. So I did the full video with not recording what I was actually doing. <laughs> yeah, I know mistakes, right? Um, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this first. This is going to be the Limitless Fusion Super Vegito. This is going to be the, one of the first choices that you can make. Um, I'm also doing this in order of which I think that should be chosen. I'm going to explain why. Uh, Limitless Fusion Super Vegito, awesome unit. He is, all of them are the 70% leaders for their mono respective uh, attribute types. Um, most of them do, do immense damage except for the Broly. Super Vegito has all allies attack plus 25%. You would prefer him to be in the first slot. Um, damage received from normal attacks is 70% um, when, actually we'll talk about his Doken Waken form, because I guess that's the one that really matters. Um, attack plus 30% for all allies after he launches a super attack. Damage received my, from normal attacks plus 80% and he counters. Now personally I think he's the number one unit because of this. Yes, he does have a counterpart, the physical Super Vegito, uh, but the, super, the physical Super Vegito only does the thing, what is that, 50% damage reduction? Uh, it's lesser than this uh, Vegito, so this one still has his uses um, because of the fact that he has an 80% versus the other physical Vegitos. Um, the other physical Vegito does end up doing attack plus 100% after some time after he launches multiple attacks and whatnot, but he is still a very good unit because of that. Um, on top of that, he counters, which makes him a very awesome, phenomenal unit. He out-damages all of the other units because of that counter ability, so when you, add, when you add that in. He also has a very, very good optimized link set, even by today's standards, even though he's very old. He's two metas old now. Actually, he's probably going on three metas old, really, honestly. Um, but he's still a very, very, very good unit. Um, his stats are a little bit lower um, compared to other units. When you get him full base system, he's not that bad. Um, I do have him full base system myself, and I could definitely vouch when you give him all crits uh, that he is a very, very phenomenal unit. Uh, the next unit that's a very, very close second is going to be the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And the reason why I think he is a very, very close second is, well, let's go to his TUR form. Is because of his category system. You notice over here, this guy's only on Majin Buu Saga and Patara category, and you're really not going to be able to run him on Majin Buu Saga because the other Super Vegito is going to be taking his place, so he's really only available on Patara. Um, on this guy, however, Fusion, Hybrid Saiyan, Majin Buu Saga, and Super Saiyan 3. Now, the one problem with that, the caveat to this guy is, the physical one is actually just a better unit. There's no difference except for the physical one is actually better. So if you have the physical one, you might not want to choose him because of that. But outside of that, he's still a very good unit. Attack plus 120% when performing a super attack is a great passive skill. Um, immense damage, mass damage with massively raising attack, and extreme damage if you do 12 key. You want to shoot for the 11 key as typical for the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Both of them do that. Um, they're both very, very good units. Again, like I said, this guy's category system is freaking phenomenal. He's on so many different good, valid categories. Um, and he has some decent link skills. Super Saiyan, Fuse Fighter, Over and Flash, uh, the Innocence, and Fierce Battle. All very good link skills. Limit breaking form, not so much as the flat out buff. Uh, and he has some decent stats for an older unit. Um, overall, I think he's a very close second to the physical Vegito. The only thing is the physical one, I'm um, sorry, the, the, the agility Vegito, the physical Gotenks is the, would actually replace him on all those categories, so the only time he's going to come in handy, in my opinion, is going to be on a Tech Super Saiyan 3 team. Um, unless you're going up against like a strength type boss, then you might want to replace the physical um, go tanks with the uh, technique one, just because he would have type uh, dis he wouldn't have type disadvantage. Um, the physical one would not do that great, but the physical one still out damages the tech one, even going up against agility bosses. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, again, with a physical one, of a physical Vegito does not really replace him because they both have different passives. Or each passive is unique in its own way. The next one, the, the next two are kind of like very tied as well. They are definitely below, in my opinion, these guys over here. Uh, it's going to be the Buhan, and tied right next to him is the Omega Shenron. Now, Buhan, why do I like him? Um, he does immense damage. When you get up to Super Attack 5 or more, he has a chance to do um, the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. Called the Super Ghost Kamikaze Kamehameha attack, which is freaking phenomenal. Um, very awesome uh, move. It greatly lowers attack and defense. Um, he does. Uh, he is a nuker type, so he does attack plus 10% per Q-Orb obtained. Um, when you Doke... Well, actually, I think it's more than that, actually. when we Let's go to his TUR form. It's 12% when you Doke and Awaken him. Um, and he recovers 3,000 HP per QR obtained. Now, the one thing that sucks about him is he's so outdated that the 3,000 HP doesn't really come into play when you're talking about actual categories. When you Once you're at like 150 or more, 150% buff per leader or more, it's really not going to be that viable. So that's why I, I put him a little bit less because that part of his passive is kind of whack. Yes, it does recover HP, but I mean, there are other units, better units, that you could actually choose um, to uh, help with HP regeneration. 
Um, he does have some decent link skills. He's still very good on a mono intelligence team. Um, he's part of the Majin Buu Saga category. Very good link for Intelligence Kid Buu. It's either going to be him or Janemba. Intel intelligence Janemba. Um, so you're going to want to choose one of them too for his linking or for Kid Buu's linking buddy. Um, but outside of that, I mean, he's still very good. He doesn't have a replacement yet. There's been no replacement Ultimate Gohan Absorb Ma or Majin Buu with Ultimate Gohan Absorb. So he's still one of a kind. So there's no one really to compare him to. So if you choose him, there's no one that's cr currently replaced him. With that being said, every single other person here has had a replacement. So that just means that the uh, th that this version of Majin Buu is probably going to come back out very soon. I don't know when. I'm just saying it's probably going to come back out again because they're going to revamp the character to be a little bit better. Um, next one is going to be the one that kind of ties with him is going to be the Omega Shenron. Now, why does he tie with him? Well, well, let's see. When you go ahead, you Doken Awaken this guy, right? He, he's a really good unit. Uh, he's a strength tech. Uh, he's a strength leader, 70% uh, leader. Immense damage, greatly lowers defense. His passive skill is attack plus 80%, which is a little bit lower for the newer meta, but he's still really good. And all enemies attack minus 30%, so he's a debuff. Now, the one thing about that is the physical one. I believe he is attack and defense minus 20% to the enemy. So he's doing 10% less attack to, uh, debuff to the enemy, but he's giving him a defense debuff, so you're going to do more damage. Um, and he does a, he has a better passive skill on how much damage output he actually does, so it kind of makes up for it. Um, he has some decent link skills, and honestly, he's really good on a mono strength extreme team. There are not a lot of units for a mono extreme strength team that you can run, even with even this nowadays on the JP side. I mean, the, the most recent units that we have is had was what, the, the uh, Strength Rose, right? Um, I believe he is probably one of the better units for Extreme Strength. I mean, let's go over to dbz.space, right? jpn.dbz.space cards. And we can even go take a look at the TUR Strength units for Extreme types. And honestly, there's really not a lot of really phenomenal units. Um, let's see. Cell is outdated. LR Broly, we're not going to consider him just because LR Broly, well, the TUR variant of him, obviously, but just because it's harder for people to pull him. So, I mean, there's not a lot of good units over here that, that are going to actually fit the bill. You have Omega Shenron, you have Janemba, you have the OG Broly when he's Extreme Z Awaken, and you have Rose. That's really it. I mean, if you have LR Broly, that's even good in itself, but remember, he doesn't have a defense buff. If you're going up against Doken events, I personally would run the EZA Broly because he gets the defense buff, so he'll tank better. So, honestly, he, he's definitely above, um, I, I would have to say maybe he is just above Buhan a little bit because there is not that many other units you can run on a Mono Extreme Strength Team um, as comparatively to the in Mono Extreme Intelligence, which has other units that you can run. Um, but yeah, Omega Shenron is pretty good, but the other thing is he's part of the Shadow Dragon Saga, which you're probably not going to run because the Omega Shenron, the physical one, is going to be the leader of that category, unless you're not running him as a leader. Um, and he's part of full, well, full Power, which isn't even available on the global side yet. So he is a good unit, but the physical Omega definitely replaces him, and the only time that he's actually good, which he's kind of a staple still to this day, is going to be the Mono Extreme Team. Uh, Mono Extreme Strength Team, that is. Now, uh, the other thing about that is he's really great for debuffing, because if you're running a double Janemba lead, both of them tank and dodge. Having him on there also helps with debuffing the enemy so they don't do a lot of damage um so just remember keep that in mind as well but then a, a pretty damn decent unit i'm going to put him i'm going to give him just above the buhan because he's a, still a staple even though buhan is, is definitely a staple and one of the best linking buddies for the intelligence boo um the the i think the omega shenron's more needed because you at least have janemba here to go on that team um Anyway, the next one is going to be the Fearsome Rampage Legendary Broly. I know a lot of people got angry at me in my last video last year when I talked about this. I still put him in the last place. Now, you have to think about it. Supreme Damage is going to be doubled, so he's doing double the amount of damage because he gets a guaranteed second attack. And he's physical, so he gets the free additional. So he definitely will be doing some decent damage. Give him some crits, and he's going to, he's going to have a lot of chance to crit. He's definitely going to do a lot of damage. But he does still only do Supreme Damage, and his passive skill is still only flat up off of 5,000, which is why I gave him less on the ranking guy. Um, I still think he's a good unit, don't get me wrong, I just never run him. Honestly, if I'm running an LR Broly, or if I'm running a Legendary Broly, it's either going to be the Easy A, new, the new Easy A OG Broly, or the LR Broly that I have. I mean, honestly, I think he's probably one of the lesser units. Plus, on top of that, how many units do you actually have to run um, on this team, right? Like, let's go look at the physical team. Who, who can actually run next to a Super Saiyan Broly? You know what I'm saying? There's not that many Super Saiyans. The only other Super Saiyans is this Vegeta over here, which actually, I mean, he's not horrible. Um, he busts the enemy by attacking. 
attack by 40% when he launches his, well, when he just attacks them. Um, and then, but you also have the free to play Broly, which is not horrible, but he's also supreme damage, a key plus three attack plus 70%. So it's not like he has that many awesome buddies who will hit off those links. I mean, he has what? He has uh, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, which is a flat out buff, which even sucks. So you want the 10% from that. Um, and Berserk. Oh, well, actually, let's go over here to his TUR farm. I mean, he's still, it's still not going to matter too much. All he does is get Fierce Battle. But I mean, still, what, what are you going to do? You're going to link him with just Fierce Battle with people? I mean, come on. You're going to need someone to link it better with him. So he doesn't have that many ones to link on his mono physical team. Um, he does. He is part of the movie bosses category, the pure Saiyans category, and the full powers category. But you also have to Remember that you have two, of, not even just one, two other variants. Attack plus 7,000 and Super Attack when keys 8 or more. You have two other variants that hit harder. The LR Broly, which is definitely harder to pull. And the OG Broly, which is does better damage because he now does immense damage. And he does attack with attacking defense plus 80%. It's just ridiculous. So, I mean, honestly, that's why I put him in last place. I really don't think, I mean, unless you don't have... Um, him and you want him just because you want to have that the ability to use him uh, But again, like I said in the beginning of this video I gave you the facts about who what they are the categories that they're a part of um, The facts about the cards and I gave you my opinion about the order So I think it's gonna be Super Vegito and number one uh, Number two or very close number two is gonna be Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks um, And then number three and four is gonna be Omega They're gonna be kind of like very close I'm gonna put Omega just above the uh, Buhan just because Buhan is kind of outdated and it doesn't do as much damage um, The Omega Shenron is also like one of the there's very 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 few units that you could run on a mono extreme strength team so you kind of want to have him so i'm gonna put omega shenron followed by buhan um and then last but not least is going to be the legendary super saiyan broly again it's up to you what you want make your own decision but i just want to make sure i could at least try to help you guys out but anyway guys thank you for joining me here today make sure to subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you all later peace